Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. This video is our first Blender course for you. Do you have a digital model? But you don't have a render yet, in this video. We showed you how to take a physical model render using Blender and Adobe Photoshop. Why do we use Blender? Blender is free. And the rendering engine is very good for fast quality visualization. In this video we started to import object file to Blender. Rename materials and choose the material color. In edit mode, let's choose the surfaces to which we will assign different materials. And assign them to different layer. Blender Kit add-in provides material library, which we will use glass material easily. Press numpad 1 for front view. Let's change the color of the stairs to ensure visibility from the inside. Select all objects and press to hide objects. Let's add a plane and scale it. Turn the plane into the background environment. Let's show all our objects. Rename layer. and add rectangular light. And environment texture from Polyheaven website HDR is. Coordinate environment texture. Connect them each other. We recommend to cycle render engine. Set the noise 0 0.1. Press numpad 1 and press CTRL Alt 0. We will convert the active image to the camera view. At 3D trees, let's look at rendered view. We will find 3D exhibition concept models from Tafu website. Check the link below. Let's select and place the objects on the stage. Add interior light.
Select more transparent glass material. We can change environment texture hue saturation value. Check the pink material properties from right tab. Stage is ready to receive the rendering. Save as your rendered image. Let's group the layers. Also, we will produce a rendering with a single color background. Select background and click to object properties and visibility option and click the shadow catcher. Check rendered view. Save as your file. Now, blender part is finished. Let's continue by adding people and trees to the render we prepared in Photoshop. First, we'll open the renders with and without the background in Photoshop. We can easily select object in render without the background. For this, you click select and select subject. With this command, it will be selected automatically. We can remove the parts we do not want to include with the magic wand tool. The PNG layer will help us when we add a tree to the back. Now let's add people. We will use cutout paper so not people content for this. White paper people and trees will be more appropriate. We add the people we chose. Right-click and link shadow and people layers. We can rearrange the shadow layer relative to the perspective of the ground. We can increase the physical model effect by adding shading to the people layer. Right-click on the layer and choose blending options. We will add shading from the bevel and emboss. Relink the shadow and human layers. Add other person. And link shadow and people layers rearrange the shadow layer. Relink the shadow and human layers. We will change the color tone and brightness of the layer. According to the light of the environment dot image, adjustment, brightness and contrast. Then choose color balance. Seed other person.
dot change the brightness of the layer. Now it's time for the trees. Size them. We'll add them below the PNG layer. Unlink shadow and tree layers. Rearrange the shadow layer. Relink the shadow and tree layers. Rearrange the shadow layer. Change the color tone dot image adjustment color balance. Add shading to the tree layers. That's it, the render is ready. We are curious about your thoughts on the Blender program. Which rendering engine is the easiest for you? Share ideas or requests with us in the comments section. See you on the next one.